drive as we had trouble with the reception here. And we want to thank the kind fan here for letting us use our hotspot. As no word on what the score is, the scoreboard's not working here at the ballpark. But I will keep you updated for when the PA announcer gives the update as that's fouled away. As it's number 20 up to the plate. As it's Navarez. Here's pitch. And that's in there for a strike. Yes, once again, we apologize for technical difficulties. As we are officially up and running. As that's low. <coughs> And outside. As yes, umpire has a word, or the manager has a word, the umpire. Here's the pitch, that's low. As the count's three and one. And that's fouled. Counts four, three and two. Foul back. Here's the pitch, and that's grounded down third baseline. It's fair. Throw the first is in time for out number three. And we'll be right back here on Vibe Live, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And Lake Creek is in the lead 6-0 as we will head to the third inning.
As they're here in the top of the third, as Lake Creek leads it 6 0 over the Mustangs. And that's pitch outside, 1 0. As we finally have the score up, as it is 6 0, and officially in the third inning. As once again, the scoreboard doesn't work here, as that's fouled away. But we finally have a score. We're up live, and we got playoff baseball here in Magnolia, Texas. As it is a great playoff atmosphere. Packed stands. People all the way to the fence. And we even got people in the football stadium from the very top watching. As number 23 up to the plate for the Lions. Here's the pitch. And that's a high fly ball. Now the play in the right field. Here's the pitch. And that's a high fly ball to left center. That's going to drop. Going to go to the wall. Let her go in the second, and she's going to be safe. As that's a stand-up double for Lake Creek. And they'll start the inning with the runner in scoring position. Robinson coming up to the plate with the runner on second, scoring position. And once again, we would like the fan that came up earlier and let us use her hotspot for us to be up and running right now. As that was a very kind gesture, as we've had trouble with the connection earlier, but we are all up and smooth and running here in the top of the third. Here's the pitch, and bunted backwards and fouled. Here's the pitch, and that's low. Runner going to third, here's the throw. Gets past the third baseman, runner coming home, and she's gonna be safe. And the Lions extend their lead to seven nothing. And that's ball four. Number six will take her base. As number eight, Shelby Wynn at the plate. And at first is Jenny Robinson. Tries the bunt. Uh, sets a ball. And gets that one down. And throw the first in time. Runner going to third. And nobody's going to be there. As Robinson on the bunt takes two bases. And it's one out. Runner on third. And it'll be number three. 
Payne Bauer up to the plate. And the Lions are 90 feet away from their eighth run of the game and only the third inning. Here's the pitch. That's low. Here's the pitch. Right on the outside corner for strike one. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. And the count's one and two. Here's the pitch. And it's fouled. Count still one and two. And swing and a miss, strike three. And that'll be two away for the Lions. And it'll be number two, Maddie McKee, up to the plate with two outs, runner on third. And here's the pitch. And outside for a strike. And that's a grounded right to the first baseman as she tags first. And I'll be out number three. As the Lions get one as they extend their lead 7 nothing. As we'll head to the bottom of the third. As we're here in the bottom of the third, as Lake Creek leads it 7 0 over Magnolia West. Here in the bottom of the third. Here's 
next pitch. And right in there for a strike. As it's Leak and Hacker up to the plate for Magnolia West. Here's the pitch. And that gets past the second baseman. So the first is in time for our number one. And the roar from that cr crowd was loud. Yeah, it's just great to see fans back in the stands. That sounds a great play by the right fielder. Throw out Hacker for out number one. <coughs> And out the plate is the freshman number two, Haley Tony. Here's the pitch. That's high. And on the mound for Lake Creek is number 13, Emily Kennedy. As counts 1 0. Oh. Here's the pitch. There's Kennedy's pitch. And tries to put that one down for the bun. And it's going to be called a strike. And that's low. Counts two and one. As Tamborello speaking with the manager at third base. As he's on deck, Tony still at the plate for Magnolia. And that's a cool helmet look for Tony. Almost looks like the Buckeyes. Ball stickers in the back. Here's the pitch. And yeah, that's outside. And way inside, ball four. And the Mustangs have a runner on first and one out. And as Tamborello comes to the plate. And Mustangs trying to find their first run of the game. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss. Yeah, it looks at first, no throw. Counts 1-0. and oh. Here's the pitch from Kennedy. That's high. Here's the pitch, and that's grounded down the third base line. Here's all the first, and it is in time for round number two. And great throw by number 17, Madeline Lopez. And it's two away for the Mustangs. Number 17, 
Herrera in the box for the Mustangs. Runner on second, two outs. Here's a pitch from Kennedy. And that's fouled back. Counts 0-1. And check swing, it's going to be called a strike. And the fans disagree with that. As you can clear here in the background. There's a wind up and pitch from Kennedy, that's inside. And check swing, no swing. And that's low. Here's the pitch from Kennedy. And it's called a ball. Looks like it just missed his own. There's a pitch, and Lyons is right down center field and caught, and that's out number three. And now in the third inning, line drive right to center field is caught, as Lake Creek still leads it 7-0 as we'll head to the fourth inning. As we're here in the top of the fourth, Lake Creek up to the plate, up 7 nothing. Has to be number four, Clark, at the bag. Here's a pitch. Tries to go for a bunt, but holds back. Counts 1-0. And that's grounded. Second baseman dives and it goes into the outfield as that'll be a single. And leadoff runner on for the Lions. And it'll be number 17. 
That's Madeline Lopez. And she made an excellent play at third base in the last inning. And runner wants to go, but goes back to first. Here's the pitch, and that's low. Two no count to Lopez. Here's the pitch from Tamborello. That's high. And counts three and zero. Oh. Runner going to second. And he'll touch first. No throw to second base. That's it'll be one away on the fielder's choice. As that grounder moves to runner to second base. It'll be number 22. Ava Brown up to the plate. One away from the Lions. And that's in for a strike. As counts on one. Yeah, that's a high fly ball to left field, and that's going to drop just foul. Here's the pitch. And just outside. Here's the pitch. And that's fouled away. Counts one and one. And now it's popped. And out of play into the stands. That's count be one and two. Tamborello's ready. Here's a pitch. And that's grounded into the outfield and all the way to the wall. Runner will score. And she slides into second base. And it's now 8 0 Lake Creek. Ava Brown with the RBI double. As Ava Brown got it past the second baseman. As that ball went all the way to the wall. And here's the pitch. That's outside. As a bat is number 13. As the pitcher Emily Kennedy. And we'll have another meeting at the mound for the Mustangs.
And runner on second. Kennedy up to the plate. Counts 1 and 0. Oh. Here's a pitch from Tamparello. Sets outside. And it counts 2 and 0. Oh. And that's grounded right to the second baseman. Throw to first is in time. Brown number two. And the runner moves to third. Two away for Lake Creek. As will be number 23, Kelly Rochinski. With a chance to extend the lead to nine, here's the pitch. Sets outside. And that's low, 2 and 0. Oh. And that's a fly ball to left field now to play. As the count will go to 2 and 1. And that's a high fly ball to center field. That's deep and that's back and that one is gone. Two run homer by Rochinski. And it's now 10-0 Lake Creek. As it is now 10-0 Lake Creek after the two-run homer by Rochinski. And it'll be number six. Jenny Robinson with two away. Here's Tamborello's pitch. And that's in there for a strike. On one. And that's a slider. Dips inside. Counts 0 and 2. And just outside, counts one and two. And swing and a miss, strike three. As the Mustangs finally get out of the inning. As the Lions score three, as we'll head to the bottom of the fourth, as they lead it 10 nothing.
welcome back to Vibe Live, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. As the Lions lead it 10-0 over the Mustangs here in the bottom of the fourth. As it's number five, Haley McDonald up to the plate. Emily Kennedy still on the mound for the Lions. Here in her fourth inning of work, here's the pitch. That's low. As the count's one and one. Here's the pitch, and that's inside for a strike. As count goes to one and two. And outside counts even at two and two. And swinging a miss, strike three, got her with the slider. And that's one away for the Mustangs. And it'll be number 18, Brooklyn Day, with one away. Here's the pitch. That's inside. And right down the middle for a strike. That's foul back. As counts one and two. And just low, just below the knees. As the count go even at two and two. And that's high. Full count at three and two. And that's low, ball four. As Day will take her base. And now at the plate is number 13, Olivia Kaiser. And that's a high five on the right field. And that's caught though. The first is not in time, but two away for the Mustangs. That's how it's caught by the right fielder, number seven, Bree Haggerty. It'll be number 11, Olivia Castillo. Here's a pitch from Kennedy. That's low. Gets past the catcher. Runner goes to second. That's count B1-0. And that's in there for a strike. As counts one and one. And swing and a miss, strike two. Throw goes over to second baseman. But thankfully the center fielder was there. 
as the runner will stay at second as counts will be one and two. And that's low. Counts even at two and two. And swing and a miss, strike three. And I'll end the fourth. As the Lions still lead it, 10 nothing over the Mustangs. Five strikeouts for Kennedy. As we'll be right back here on by Bly, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. As we welcome you to the top of the fifth as the Lions lead it 10 nothing over the Mustangs here in Magnolia, Texas. As it's Shelby Wynn up to the plate. As that's high, counts 1-0. and oh. And right down the middle, strike one. And just outside, count two and one. And it's a high fly ball to left field at the warning track and caught. As that's one away for the Lions. As that was a catch at the warning track by number three by Madison to Austin out in left field. That's to be number three Bauer. Here's the pitch from Tamborello. That's ended for a strike. And that's low. Counts 2 and 0. Oh. And swing and a miss, strike 2. Tamborell had the count, and that's high. Counts even at two and two. And fouled backwards. Counts still two and two.
Here's a 2-2, two -two. and just fell. As he stays alive. And outside counts four, three, and two. And that's high, ball four, as Bauer will take her base. Look good, Tony, look good, one. Then now batting, it's number two, McKee up to the plate, with one out and one on. Here's Tambrello's pitch, runner going to second, it stays put, put on the brakes. About 10 feet away from the bag. Counts 1 and 0. And here's the bunt and fouled. As counts 1 and 1. And that's ball four. And it'll be runners on first and second. Just one out. And here's number four, Clark. Chance to do something here with the runner in scoring position. Just one out. Here's a pitch to Clark. And that's a slider right inside for a strike. And outside, counts one and one. And bunts out and down and fouled. Count be one and two. And the runners will go back to first and second. Here's the one, two. And that's grounded. And that goes into right field, runner around third. Here's the throw to home, and it is not in time as Lake Creek extends her lead to 11 nothing. As that's a double for Clark. And it'll be number 17, Lopez, up to the plate with just one out. Third base, number 17, Madeline Lopez. Runners on second and third. Here's the pitch. And that's just outside. Counts 1-0. and oh. Ah. Uh -huh. 
And that's lined right up the middle. Second baseman trying to get it. And everybody is safe and another run scores. And it's now 12-0 Lions. As that's an infield RBI single by Lopez. And as Ava Brown comes back to the plate. Had a, actually had an RBI double last inning. Here's the pitch. And that's a high fly ball to left field. And you can kiss that one goodbye. Three run shot, Ava Brown. And it's now 15-0 Lions. Ava Brown, three-run shot, and it's now 15-0, Lake Creek. And still just one away. And just want to remind the fans, we are in run rule territory. And if the score stays put here, and if the Mustangs score, fail to score five runs in the bottom half of the inning. And Lake Creek will win this game early in the fifth. And still just one out as Lake Creek leads it 15 nothing. And that's a high fly ball to right field and that's gonna drop at the wall. And as Kennedy reaches second base, stand up double, still just one out for number 23, Rochinski. Hit the two run homer in last inning. Here's the pitch. And that's high, 1-0. And that's a nice shot, Tony! And that's where Chintzy calls time. Here's the pitch. And that's inside for a strike. And that's lined down the third base line and fouled. As count go to one and one. Here's a pitch from Tamburillo, and that's a wild pitch, and number five will get the third. As that's Hilty at third base, pinch running for Clark, or excuse me, Kennedy. Here's a pitch, and that's high. Counts two and one. And that's a high fly ball to left field. That one's way back, and that one is just fouled. And Rochinski almost got another one just by inches. And back at the plate with two strikes, here's the pitch. And that's a fly ball to right field at the warning track and caught. Runner goes home and no throw as Lake Creek will extend their lead to 16-0. 
as that's a sacrifice fly by Rochinski. And it'll be number six Robinson up to the plate with two outs, nobody on. Here's the pitch. That's outside. 1 and 0. Oh. And that's low, 2 and 0. Oh. And that's grounded down the first base line and fouled. Let's go, Wes! You got it, girl! Come on, Wes! Two strikes, here's the pitch. And that's grounded. Gets past the second baseman, and that's a stand-up single for Robinson. And it'll be number eight, Win, back up to the plate. Here's the pitch. That's high. One and zero. Oh. And that's in for a strike. Till the first is not in time. And that's inside, strike two. And here's the one two from Tamparillo. And just low and called strike three, Cutter looking. As we'll head to the bottom of the fifth. And the Mustangs need to score six runs to keep this one alive. As we'll be right back here on Vibe Live, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And we're here in the bottom of the fifth as Lake Cr Creek leads it 16-0 over Magnolia West. As it is a great crowd out here tonight. Completely packed in the stands all the way to the fence. And fans all the way at, on top of the football stadium up there. Yes, yeah, so we're here in the fifth, and the Mustangs are down to their final three outs if they fail to score six this inning. 
As we are in run rule territory, Mustangs have to score six to keep the game alive. Actually, check that. Actually, they have to score seven runs. And here's the pitch from Kennedy. That's inside for a strike. Number 14, Jordan Orr at the plate. And that's grounded right to the first baseman. Steps on the bag, one away. And it'll be number 15, Lakin Hacker with one away. Kennedy is ready. Here's the pitch. That's low. 1-0. Hey, like <laughs> and swing and a miss. Strike one. And swing and a miss, strike two. Hey, Blew a pass over the fastball. Stay on, stay on it. Kenny is ready, here's the pitch. And swing and a miss, strike three. Got her with the off speed in the dirt and two away and the Mustangs are down to their final out. And the last chance will be number two, Haley Tony. And here's the pitch from Kennedy. And run right on the outside edge for strike one. And that's fouled. Counts 0 and 2. And foul to the left side. Tony staying alive. And swing and a miss, strike three, and Lake Creek wins the ball game with a score of 16 nothing. As the final score is Lake Creek's 15 and Magnolia West zero. As we thank you for listening to Fight Live, once again, apologize for the technical difficulties in the beginning, but also want to thank the fan giving us a hot spot for us to broadcast this to you live. As it has been a great atmosphere tonight in Magnolia, Texas, jam-packed stadium. Fans all the way out to the fence in the outfield and all the way to the football stadium at, at the top. Just a great playoff atmosphere. As Lake Creek wins this game with a score of 16 0. As I've been Justin Barbosa. Have a great night, everybody, and thank you for listening to Five Live presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors.